Hello, Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Dr. Nita Sheikh from Dental Magic. If you are new here, then welcome. If you have already been in a Dental Magic family, then welcome back. Two years ago, I have already made a video regarding uh, the alternative pathway to practice in UK as a general dentist without ORE or LDS examination. After that, I've got so many queries regarding how to apply, how to get admission and how we can get into it and what not. So here I am with a video for you guys. So in this video, I will be discussing about how to apply for this course. How is the selection process? How much does it cost? Is scholarship available? Is there any corporate practice who can help you sponsor? And how does that work? How to proceed visa process? And do we have to give ORE or LDS exam? Is this course recognized by GDC? And advises to those who are planning to take this course. Are you guys ready? Let's start. Before jumping into the video, if you guys are interested in such content, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel and be the dental magic family. Now coming to the very first thing that you need to understand is what is this course all about. So let me give you a small gist. Okay. So this course uh, is named as BDSI course and it is provided by one and only one of the university in uh, UK that is known as the UCLan University and this university is situated in the city of Bristol, England. The duration of the course is 18 months and the fees structure is divided into two. The first amount, the first half of the fees you can pay in the first six months and the other half is has to be paid once your 12 months is completed so you can be uh, your fees is divided into these two structures now now you have two years okay this course is divided into two years so the first year you will be dealing with seminars and lectures classes and preclinical work as you have been doing in your grad school year to second year okay the, the all these things will be included in the first year now coming to the second year in which you will be completely uh, doing the patients and the clinical work that you have been doing from third year till internship okay so this is a small structure of the course what will be happening and after six months there will be an exam about the preclinical course and the lectures and the things that have been taught and after that once uh, you pass that exam you'll be uh, going to the next session that is the uh, second year and in the second year when that uh, 12 months is completed uh, you will be uh, giving the exam that you have already done in your grad school like first year you study and you give exam and you pass, pass on to the second uh, the same thing goes with this also okay so after completing that uh, uh, 12 months you will be giving the final exam and once you are done you will be registered with a you have to do the registration with the GDC and you are free to work as a dentist in UK I hope this is clear. This was a small basic information about the university and the course. Okay. Now coming on to the first thing that everybody is asking is, is this course recognized by GDC or not? Like many of you are in dilemma and uh, uh, seeing the comments in my uh, previous video and uh, many of you have said that yes, it's not recognized. So let me clear this thing. The course is recognized now. The, uh, the time when I have uploaded that video, it was in 2022 and at that time, the Ukraine University had just started their course and uh, there was a first intake in the March of 2022, okay? So, at that time, it was subjected to approval, but I am proud to so say that, yes, it is being recognized by GDC and people are doing that course and working there as a dentist. So, yes, you are free to do this and you don't have to think twice. Uh, yes, it's recognized. Now, second thing is how you have to apply for the course. So, let me clear this thing. Uh, oh, everything is online. The application is online. Your documents has to be sub, uh, submitted online. What you have to do is you have to go on their website. You, have, you will get the application form. You have to fill it up. And your document had to be scanned and sent to them. And once your application is done and if you're invited to the prison, then you have to take and carry all your original documents, okay? So this is was it. So you don't have to uh, go to UK for uh, doing this procedure. You can do it online, okay? 
and many of you will be thinking what is the fees of the application and stuff so application fees is completely free for now i don't know uh, what will happen next year but yes for this uh, it's been started the application is free now take a pen and copy because i am going to mention what are the requirement to get into the pdsi course that is provided by the ucan university are you ready okay write it down the first thing is that you need to have your dental license and dental certificate that is given uh, the dental license is given by the dental council of your country and the dental certificate is uh, given by the university from where you have completed your industry okay these two things and the other thing and if you are belonging to a country where english is not your native language then you have to uh, pass the ielts also uh, ielts with a band of 7 bands each segment okay each segment like in writing speaking and reading you need to have 7 bands okay this is the second requirement and the other thing is that you have to keep in mind that uh, all the documents had to be in english if in case that your documents are not in english then then you need to get it translated by a by an authorized translator of your city and minimum of 600 hours of experience and this 600 hours are not included in your internship okay apart from your internship you need to experience 600 hours uh, of clinical experience in any hospital or in any clinic after once your graduation is done it's not included in your internship okay like in ori what is the requirement they need 600 or uh, 1600 hours of clinical experience which you can show it in your internship time period that you have done for one year of your pre internship this is not the case here in this you have to ex- uh, get the experience of 600 hours apart from your internship after your internship okay i think i have made my point clear the other thing is certificate of good standing that you have to get it from your college signed and stamped by your dean and uh, stamp of your college and dated okay and the other thing is the narik certificate which is very important which is known as uh, which is now known as nx certificate uh, and yes uh, majorly ma- most of you people ask me but which ielts we have to uh, give so academic ielts you have to give you are not going to do any job or stuff uh, you are taking admission so you need an academic ielts okay apart from all these things one uh, one thing that you can do is to make your application more so these are the major requirement that you need to qualify in order to get into this course and if in case you still need uh, more information then you can go and check out their website i will provide the link in the description box below now if you want your chances to be um 100% to get into this course is what you can do is which is a completely optional it is my side of advice to you guys that is to write a statement of purpose in this you will be writing about yourself and why you are interested in uh, in this course and about your accomplishments and about what you have learned through this process and if you guys are wondering how to write this then i got your back i have already made a video for you guys you can go go and watch my video okay and i will provide the link in the description box so these were the few things that you need to keep in mind before uh, uh, getting into anything and uh, once your application is done once all your documents are submitted and accepted by the college then you will be called to the city of preston for another assessment Yes, this means now if you are called and given a mail, you will be informed by a mail or by a call. Okay, so once you are uh, you are informed that your your application has been uh, selected, now you have to move to UK in order to give the assessment. Now let me move on forward. What will happen and what are the things? Now question will be arising: How students are selected? On what basis they are selected? So the basic thing is that the students are selected on the basis of their application. You need to include all the relevant certificates uh, that you have uh, that are important for this. Like if you have done any diploma course, all these type of things you can include in your document. You need to send it to them so that they uh, they can know that yes, you are skilled and you have done this uh, so and so. course other than your dentistry you are also skilled in this specific uh, course that you have done so they get to know more about it so it's very important for you to if you have done any S- 
if you have done uh, diploma in laser dentistry or implant or basic dentistry or RCTs or anything XYZ, then you can include that certificate in these documents along with these documents. Okay. This will improve more chances of you getting into the course. Now coming on to the next thing that is there any entry test for this BBSI course? The answer is yes. Now for this assessment, like once your application is uh, selected, your, you will be informed and you have to go to, uh, to the Preston uh, and then you have to appear for this uh, exam and you have to go there along with your original documents. First, what, what happens is uh, on the day of examination, the exam is conducted in two days. Okay, So on the first day when you will go, your first all your documents will be uh, verified and will be checked. And then once you are done with the exam, you will be given the entire tour. Now on the first day, uh, the, the exam that will be conducted is uh, theory based. So it will be a MCQ based question uh, test in that. You will be given 100 questions. It is a completely computer based test. And uh, once you are given that test uh, and you pass that test, you will be called for the practical exam next day. So that uh, the result of the theory exam will be released on that particular day. Second day is the practical exam. Uh, practical exam that is the OSC interview, uh, OSCE interview. So in OSCE, what happens is there will be several stations and on several stations, there will be a particular set of questions. And to perform that procedure or taking the history or the answering that question in that uh, particular stations, you'll be uh, allotted a certain time that in this time span, you have to leave that station. And uh, like this, you have to answer and do the procedures and things. It's completely like worry, but different a bit different because in ORE you need to know everything related to dentistry but here what is the plus point is that uh, they only consider you that you know all the things till third year so whatever you have studied till third year is only needed in this OSCE and uh, MCQ exam because the ORE OSC is uh, OSCEs are uh, generally tough but the OSCEs will be a little lighter because uh, they'll be assessing you on the no on the knowledge of a third year student as the rest of the fourth and the fifth year they'll be teaching you in this course that is IIT math course so you will be uh, tested and you will be asked only till third year so you need to prepare yourself that way and you also need to know what are the courses and things they think are studied till third year okay so keep that thing in mind and now one thing is the admissions are opening for this uclan university for this bdsi course in the, the admissions for bdsi is opening uh, in this year in the month of december so be ready and apply for it if you want to do Comment down below if you guys want to know a detailed video on the what topics are included in this exam, on the practical exam, on the theory exam, then I will come up with a video for you guys. So what is the total cost of the course? So initially there was no, as I have told, there is no application fees, but beside that, once you are called for uh, the assessment, then there is a hotel cost, transportation cost, food cost. So these uh, costs you have to consider in your mind and the visa cost of course why we can how we can get that comment down below if you want a complete video on the total cost of this course including all the expenses that you are going to face and i will come up with a video for you guys so initially the fees was as i remember for the first year it was twenty thousand uh twenty thousand dollars and uh, for the rest of the half, it was uh, forty-six dollars, forty-six thousand dollars. But now for twenty-four and 20, uh, for the year of two thousand twenty-four and twenty-five, thirty-seven thousand five hundred pounds. And for the next, uh, for the other year also, for the rest of the year, it's uh, uh, thirty-seven thousand five hundred pounds. That will be approximately seventy-five thousand dollar for the complete course package. Fees changes every year, so I would uh, provide the link in the description box below for the website of the website so that you can go and check it out on your own self. I know, I know it's really uh, costly and everyone cannot afford it. 
but they also provide the scholarship uh, around 20000 pounds for the scholarship information you have to contact the university and know the details about it uh, let me clear one thing here that according to the country they provide the scholarship like for india they provide the sports scholarship okay and for uh, uh, any other country they provide uh, merit based uh, scholarship so uh, it varies from country to country for that you have to go and check their website and there is a corporate chain also that is known as my dentist that many of you were asking what my dentist is all about so my dentist is a chain that have many centers across the uk and they also provide funds to the student so for that information you have to uh, visit the website of the uh, uh, university and contact the university regarding all these things in scholarship and stuff now coming on to the next thing that is uh, how to apply for the visa see once you are going for giving the exam you can go on the basis of the visit visa and uh, i would rather say you tell your uh, Uh, emergency situation that why you want to visit the the country very visa office in the during the visa process that yes this is my situation and I need to go to UK so visit visa is the best at that time when you are going to take the assessment test because uh, at that time you are not sure whether you will be able to get into the program or not so that is the thing and once you uh, are confirmed that yes you are taking admission and you got everything through. then you will apply for the student visa it's completely online and it's completely easy you can apply it on your own you don't need any agent or stuff there are the certain things that you need to answer and you need to submit and uh, it's completely transparent you can do it by yourself trust me uh, and very one uh, one very important thing is that you need to show them your document and the proof of your funds uh, that is very important Once you do that, you will be able to apply for the student visa of UK, and it's very easy. It's not complicated at all. Uh, I'm repeating it again and again, but it's really important that showing the funds in your bank account is the one major thing that is really important that they consider and check. Now, uh, coming to the last question, that is, do you have to give OR or LDS exam? So let me clear this. It's not a paid paid promotion. It's just that I'm guiding you guys because uh, I just want you guys to know all the ways that you can work and fulfill your dreams if you want to be abroad. It's not paid at all. Apart from this, I still say that it's completely my research. Do your own research. But this course is now being recognized by GDC, so there is nothing to worry about. But yes, it's really tough to get in. So yes, coming back to the point that is, there is no Amari or LDS after this program. Without any hassle, you can work in the UK as a dentist. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching the video till end. I hope you like the video. If you have got any valuable information from this video, then don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe my channel, and never ever forget to share it with your friends and family. Stay tuned till the next video. Till then, stay safe, be happy. I love it.